It is Canadian Down Syndrome Week, a time to celebrate and support people who live with that condition. The Down Syndrome Resource Foundation is a Burnaby group that helps people with Down Syndrome find jobs. Employment specialist Asia Masters joins us now. Asia, first of all, how do you help clients get job opportunities? Um, I work with uh, community partners and reach out to those um, that I work with and depending on the job interest of the clients that I'm working with. So trying to match them with jobs that they find interesting. And what sort of jobs are, are the people that you work with interested in and, and what kind of jobs are they getting those jobs or, or something similar? Yeah, for the most part, they've been able to find or I've been able to place them in um, things that they're interested in. So it really varies. Um, you know, they're individualized. Uh, I've got some that are working in uh, front of house restaurant jobs, some in back of house, um, some at uh, markets and grocery stores. Um, so, yeah, it really just kind of depends on uh, on the client themselves. Has there been any pushback from employers uh, at all or stigma that still exists around employing someone who lives with Down syndrome? I think there is not tons of pushback, but I know that it's sort of the fear of the unknown. And um, it is a risk, you know, you're taking on a risk hiring somebody um, potentially. And um, yeah, so not tons of pushback, um, but with knowledge and I offer lots of support, mm -hmm. Um, then, you know, they're often more willing to kind of get on board and, and at least kind of give it a try. And for those who, who may be reluctant, what do you tell them specifically about the, the, the skills that people who may live with Down syndrome bring to a workplace? Mm -hmm. um, I think those adults who um, are looking for jobs who have Down syndrome, it's kind of a completely untapped resource. They are keen to work. They're very eager to be there. And a lot of them really like, like a feature of Down syndrome is uh, um, an enjoyment in repetition. So kind of those monotonous tasks that sometimes, you know, somebody else may not be interested in. Um, they can really thrive doing things like that. And a longevity in their employment. They're likely to be part of the team for a really long time. So. Mm -hmm. and, and why is it important in, in your mind to have, uh, for workplaces, to have inclusive or more inclusive employment? I think for anybody that has a disability, um, you know, they have the right to work. They see their peers and their family members growing up and going to school and working. And it's just sort of the next steps that everybody takes. And um, I think an inclusive workplace, it it is better for everybody. Those colleagues who get to work with somebody who has Down syndrome, they benefit, the community benefits. And there's often a lot of, you know, um, return customers for people who see um, inclusive workplaces. So. Asia Masters, Employment Specialist with the Down Syndrome Resource Foundation in Burnaby. Thanks for your time and your perspective. Yeah, thank you so much.